Hello students, in this session we will learn about Scratch which is a free programming application to create animations and games. It helps you to enhance your logic building skills because the manner in which you give the instructions accordingly the animation or the game behaves. So let us start with Scratch, we type Scratch here so we get open up the Scratch 2 version. This is the interface that you see. I make it full screen by clicking here. So this is the, the stage where we can create and view our animation. In the center of this stage, you have the cat sprite, which is the default sprite given to you by Scratch. Here you have below the sprite area where you can add, delete or view your sprites. This is the background area where you can uh, select a background, view a background, a different background. By default, you are having the white background here at the end. You can have a different background. Uh, then you have uh, this as the, uh, the script area where you can give the instructions for any sprite to perform. The instructions can be taken from the instruction blocks here. These instruction blocks are categorized into various categories like motion, looks, sound and so on. Uh, say for example in the motion category there are instructions which uh, instruct to move a sprite, to turn a particular sprite and so on. So let us begin to create an animation first and foremost. Let's learn how to insert a new background. So I go to the background area and I click on choose background from library button. I see there are so many uh, background images available. You can select any of the background that you want. So I select an underwater background. Now you can see that my stage is not having the white background. It is having an underwater background and a cat sprite is here. I would like to insert new sprite also. So I click on choose from sprite library button and I have so many sprites to choose from. They are categorized into various categories like animal, fantasy, letters and so on. So I choose animals and I choose a starfish. So I have a starfish sprite here. And cats don't live underwater, right? So I would like to delete this sprite by right clicking on it and choosing delete option. So I have a starfish here. Now uh, any sprite given to you by scratch may have different forms available. We call them costumes. Like this is the uh, starfish A costume, a smiling starfish. And this is the starfish B which is a sad starfish. I can choose any of the costumes. Now I want a background sound also in my animation. So by default a pop sound is given but if I want any other sound I can click on choose sound from library button and I can choose any of the sounds that I want. I have so many sounds here. I can choose any of the sounds. Say I select a, a piano sound. I have the sound here, electric piano. Now with all the components ready, I have the background, I have a sprite, I have the sound. I need to form a script. First we need to decide how I want my sprite to behave. So I want this particular sprite which is there on the top left corner to come to the stage, say hello, smile and Go to the right side. So that is what I want my sprite to behave. So to form the script, before I start forming the script, you need to understand that this entire stage is an xy plane. And the coordinates of this plane you can see here x and y. So wherever you move your mouse, you know the, that this particular place is minus 200 and 147. This particular place is minus 5 and 11. So depending on where I want to move my sprite, I can choose the x and y coordinates. 
So, and I want my animation to begin when I click this green flag and to stop when I click on this stop button. So, now I'll start the creation of script for my starfish. I click on events and I click and drag when star is clicked. So, this execution of this script will start when the star is clicked. Uh, when this flag, green flag is clicked. And I want that when this flag is clicked, uh, a background sound should start. So, I go to the sound category and I say play sound until done. So, you can see that the sound that I just inserted electric piano is there. So, I click it and I want uh, my sprite to be in this position that means minus 187 153 so I say uh, go to minus 147 and 150 and when it goes to that particular place I want it to be visible so I say now I want my sprite to come in the center. So I say motion, I click on motion category and I say glide to the center of the screen in one second. So center of the screen the coordinate is 0 and 0. Right? So when it comes to the center of the screen, it should change its costume. So I say, I click on looks. And I say switch costume to say starfish A. Right? And then I want it to say hello. So it says hello. Or it says hello for say 2 seconds. And then I want it to glide to the right hand side. So I say glide to. So this is the coordinate that I want. 203 minus 147. So, I type here 203 and minus 147. So, let's see how my script looks. So I click on flag. So, you can hear the sound of piano. It says hello. That is my next instruction and it moves back to the right. Of the so, this is how the sprite behaves when you give a particular instruction. Depending on the instruction and the sequence of instruction that you have given, the sprite behaves accordingly. This is what is Scratch, which helps you, which gives you the ability to develop your logic building skills. Thank you.